definitely an unbelievable game tonight. Uh, four credits of that. Yeah. And that was a tough way to lose for Ottawa to the seven holes there. The NHL side, the game winner. Why again are you doing this? I'm just giving you facts. You know what? Here, 416 uh, star 590, if you think George is a massive homer. If you're, uh, if you, everything George says drifts with Montreal Canadiens bullcrap. <laughs> It is the most blatant, like you can't... Was that I not the seven hole though on that game winner? Seven hole doesn't exist, it's just a funny little thing people make up when someone has a bad... Yeah, when it, when, when when someone can't save a beach ball on a... On a the Craig Anderson the played... NHL side. Craig Anderson played unbelievable last night. For a guy that hasn't played very much, you've been hurt. Last three months of the season, he was... If, what, 49 saves last night? Great. What? He played great. But even he'll tell you that was a turkey of a goal he let in in the winter. The AHL side. Yeah, but you say, would you say that about Carey Price if he sure let in was. a baseball like that? He yeah, let in on the AHL in, side? If, no, he let in, if he let in on the AHL side like Anderson did, for sure. No, you wouldn't. Even a Hamburglar in Game 3, that was a turkey of a goal as well. And they both made the reaction that they know they should have had it. Both Hammond and Anderson on those winning goals. Look how Anderson looked to the sky after he let that one in because he knew he should have had it. But well-deserved victory, outplaying Ottawa in Ottawa, in a hostile environment. <laughs> well-deserved victory. <laughs> you can't help it. 49 shots. And bless that Mark Stone. And the miraculous recovery Stop from it. a bone bruise. Stop it. Rangers, Pittsburgh tonight. Yeah, I want to hear from people. I want to at 416-870-0590. Triple eight, triple six, zero five nine. I, you know what I find it hard to believe since I started working here? The people take it this seriously. I love watching. I watched every hockey game this weekend. I watched basketball. I watched the RBC, which we'll get to in a few minutes with Jim Furyk. He won the first time in four years. They cut away to do a weather bulletin, and someone I'll get I'll get to it. The second one of the greatest. But the fact that people take it this seriously—that you can't help yourself—that that that you you just gotta give it to people. It's mind blowing. Give what to people? Fact? Uh, pretty much any champ. Yeah, okay. Facts? Fact. I said earlier Eric Carlson was the best player in the series. By and large, he has been. And you're like, oh, no way. Joe in Collingwood, you're on Sportsnet 590 The Fan. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. Listen, uh, George, you're a big homer, but. Uh, Huge. It gets sickening after a while, isn't it? Let's, let, what do you got, Joe? You, you have every right to be a Montreal fan. Carey Price is playing out of his mind right now, and uh, I think they're going all the way to the final. And, uh, you know, I'm not a half fan, but uh, I got to endorse Carey Price. It's hard to bet against him. Yes, there you go. Yeah, but, but he's objective. You're not. I am objective. You should be more objective. You're in the news. Under a news app, Sports I said Sports knew the game winner was in the seven hole, and that's the AHL side. What part of that statement is false? When I think George R Resick, I think journalist. <laughs> <laughs> Brad King City on Sports Five Ninety. Good morning. Hey guys, what's happening? What's up, brother? Every time I listen to uh, the one that company every day on uh, news, like say on Monday, I would call like. Uh, uh, my mind, not not hanging over Monday, but a really good way to start off every day listening to sports fans, especially in my bargains. It's obvious the Canadians are a better team right from the back end out. It's, yeah. it's, you know, I, I'm not a, God, I wish the Leafs uh, were, were there or, or another team, you know, but the reality is they're goalies. They've got the best goalie in the world. He proved it in the Olympics. And then their back end can move the puck, so I know it's hard to argue with that. They're going to have to be better than they were last year. Yeah, they're going to have to be better than they were last year. Yeah, they're going to have to be better than they were last year. Yeah, they're going to have to be better than they were last year. Well, wow, they're going to be they're going to be in top like they were last night, right? Yeah, and you know what? What, what Montreal showed? Because I'm objective, unlike George, I can say this. Montreal showed they can get beat up, they can get out hit, 
and they can still play their game. And you're right, Carey Price. There's was it Mark Stone slap shot from the from the left side or the right side that was going probably 150 miles an hour that he just grabbed routine. Right. Like it was it was an unbelievable save and just ice. You just got ice. Do you see what I just did there? Yeah, that was objective. That slap shot was remarkable because he, he shot that with a broken wrist, yeah, which there, is incredible yeah. how we actually generated that much space on that slapper. Okay. Brian in Toronto, you're on Sportsnet 590, the fan. Good morning. Let's clarify the Homer stance here on George. George, are you from Montreal? No. Okay, so that eliminates the Homer. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, so would you would you, would you just substitute uh, moron? <laughs> That's probably a little more fair. Are you a Jays fan? I'm not a Jays fan per se. No. Is it true? Uh, I want to see the Jays do well. <laughs> Raptors. I want to see the Raptors do well. Liar. But do you have so do you have no allegiance when it comes to the NBA or MLB? No. Taking the journalist hat off. Okay. 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 Where are we going with this? Oh, I'm Bye bye. Okay. Thanks, dude. Oh, I'm fine. I was served, as the kid said. Yeah, you were. I was served. You just gotta learn to cut my beard. <laughs> and forcibly to fed you your own beard. Right. Anyway, uh, lots of hockey on tonight. How do you feel now? That these guys oh, I was so I, I don't feel like I'm on fire after that last coffee. Let's take I was torched. One more from Roger real quick. Roger you're on sports on Monday. Alright guys, George is on the money dead on it. The last time I haven't pumped his face to be the fan. He's not being too crazy, but it sounds like you guys are a little bit a little Thank you, Roger. Thanks, appreciate it. Thanks, Roger. See it's a great call. <laughs> call at any time, Roger. <laughs> Great job. Uh, do you notice how I took that call? Because I'm objective. Yeah. I am a journalist. I don't understand. I'm a sports journalist. You know what? You're right. George Russell and Dean Mullendale, sports journalist. <laughs> I am a sports journalist. Wow. Uh, anyway, we move on. Rangers Pittsburgh tonight. That's a series now. It's uh, knotted at one after the guy that you hate the most in the world, Sidney Crosby, no, was I terrible to the tune of two goals in the last game. George thinks he's a bad leader. Yeah. How do you lead on the, both of those okay, goals? Yeah, terribly. Saturday. Yeah, one goal in uh, 14 playoff games. St. Louis, St. Louis, Minnesota. That's an eight in sports at one. Anaheim.